Eat and write can be personalized to suit your preferences. This includes the way the toolbar looks, as well as how the features work. Firstly, you can choose where the toolbar is docked on your screen. Simply drag the toolbar to the top and let go. You can also choose between light and dark mode. Simply go to the settings area. and choose which theme you would like. You can also choose which features you would like to appear on the toolbar. I would like to remove Audio Maker from the toolbar. I do that under the Feature Sets, where I can click on the icon and it will disappear from the toolbar. To add it back, simply click on the icon again. We also provide a list of shortcuts. These shortcuts will pull up the feature on the toolbar. For instance, if I wanted to pull up the prediction window, I would hit Control-Alt-P. Within the settings menu, you'll also notice the feature name list on the left hand side. To personalize how each feature works, simply click on the feature name. I am going to change my speech settings. I can first test my voice. This is your new voice. Is it okay? This is your new voice. Is it okay? Once I am happy with the voice, I can now go to my document and have it read in the voice that George I chose. George P. Body was born in Danvers, Massachusetts, in 1795. Most of Read and Write's features can be personalized, and it's all done from the settings menu, as I showed you today. For more guidance on personalizing Read and Write, visit the Text Help Academy. There, you'll find feature videos for every feature. Within each video, we demonstrate how to personalize that feature. You'll also find a handy training guide with step-by-step -step instructions, as well as how-to articles.